the way the Japanese behaved in China is not completely different from the way how the Germans behaved later on in Europe. And, uh, and as this smaller war then sort of merged into the big war, I think there is a connection and there is an interesting foreshadowing of what has happened afterwards. It was a challenge to make a film about this character, a German who is a member of the Nazi party, but finally saves Chinese from Japanese, you know. So um, it's a, you know, it's a, it's a story in which a lot of the black and white that you uh, that you normally have looking at these kind of uh, uh, incidents doesn't doesn't work. The the response is one thing that is almost always there is that people say we didn't know about this. So that it's that it's especially for a Western audience naturally that people are surprised about not only the character of Rabe but also about the whole genocide that happened. He is a you know a dream of an actor in that sense that he is always prepared that he knows his lines he's on time he doesn't you know uh, behave like a diva at all he is just a very very nice person which for the whole process of the of the making of the film was important because he was the most famous of of all of us and if the most famous one sort of like behaves this well the other guys have to behave well as well so he was a very good role model for everybody <laughs>